welcome back to physics classroom we will discuss shooting method with one example shooting method is a popular method for solution of two point boundary value problems that is if the problem is defined by y double prime is equal to f of x that is the second differential of y is equal to f of x and we are given the boundary conditions y of x naught is equal to a and y of x1 equal to b so we are given these two boundary conditions with this second differential y double prime is equal to f of x so first it is transformed into the initial value problem we, we know to solve the initial value any initial value problem especially the first order initial value problem with a single boundary value single initial point so this two point boundary value problem the second order boundary value problem is transformed into two initial value problems like this y prime the first differential is equated to another function z of x and the, this y double prime which is equal to this z prime of x is equal to f of x so now this problem this single second order differential equation is transformed into two initial value problems like this y prime equal to z of x and z prime equal to f of x with corresponding initial values y of x naught is equal to a and z of x naught is equal to m0 here for this initial value problem this is the initial condition for this problem this is the initial condition but unfortunately we don't know this initial value m0 so we assume it we assume this m value after that assuming this m value we already know this a value then we find the solution at x equal to x1 that is the solution actually we know the solution at the second boundary that is y of x1 or x equal to x1 boundary the solution is b but using these values using these initial values including this assumed m0 value we find the solution at x equal to x no x1 and is represented as y naught if this y naught is exactly equal to this b then we can say that this m0 is the correct assumption the assumption m0 is the correct assumption now z of x naught is equal to m1 that is another initial value for the z is assumed second guess is made and the new initial as the new initial value m1 as the new initial value and the corresponding solution at x equal to x1 is obtained as y1 again we check whether this y1 is equal to this b we we know again exactly the solution at x equal to x naught x1 but using this initial value using this initial value and this initial value we find a solution at x equal to x1 and we compare this solution with the non solution if these solutions are very near to the non solution of the boundary then the corresponding initial value is taken as the correct initial value and the solution may be found at any required point as we have already se seen using either euler method or runge runge kutta method or any kind of method any kind of initial value problem but if they are not very near to this non solution 
this y0 and then y1 are not near to this solution the exact solution b then we have to find more correct m value from these two as assumed values these two set of assumed values by linear interpolation between m0 y0 and m1 y1 where this m0 m1 are the initial values assumed for the z and y0 and y1 are the corresponding solutions obtained for x equal to x1 so now we will see an example for the shooting method find the solution of the second order differential equation d square y by dx square equal to 2x with the boundaries y of x naught is equal to y of 0 is equal to 0 and y of x1 equal to y of 3 is equal to 9. So first we transform this second order differential equation into two first order differential equation with their initial values. So set initially we set this dy by dx equal to z of x with its initial value y of x naught is equal to 0 and then the z prime of x that is d square y by dx square is equal to 2x with its initial value assumed as z of x naught is equal to m0 is equal to 2 this this 2 this m0 is an assumed value we don't know the actually this initial condition so using this assumed initial condition and this non-initial condition we solve these two equations and find the solution then the solution at x equal to x1 equal to 3 so using the Euler method we find the solution of the equation as y0 here I have taken 10 steps that is I have used h is equal to 0.2 using Euler method and the solution is obtained as y0 is equal to 12.48 actually we know the exact solution is 9 but it is obtained as 12.48 so the assumption is not exact or not so much accurate so we assume another initial value so z of x naught is equal to m1 again 3 then again the solution using the Euler method the step it's is equal to 0 0.2 is obtained as y1 is equal to 15.48 again the solution is not near the exact solution y of 3 is equal to 9 so both solutions are not near to the exact solution at x1 is equal to 3 where we know the exact solution y of x1 is equal to y of 3 is equal to 9 so now we linearly interpolate the set of points m0 y0 and m1 y1 then find the next m value next corresponding m value corresponding to the uh, the non solution y2 the non solution the exact solution 9 that is these two sets of points are already obtained this m0 corresponding solution is obtained as y0 and the second assumption is m1 and the corresponding solution is obtained as y1 now we know this exact solution y so that the corresponding m value is calculated using the linear interpolations so using the equation for the one by slope one by slope that is this m2 minus m0 divided by this y2 minus y0 means the one by slope of this section which is equal to slope of this section this whole section that is uh, one by slope of the whole section that is m1 minus m0 divided by y1 minus y0 
so that we can obtain the equation for this m2 this m2 corresponding to this y2 is equal to 9 the exact solution so you from this equation this m2 is obtained like this m0 plus this y2 minus y0 into m1 minus m0 divided by y1 minus y0 so substituting this m0 y2 y1 m1 values it is obtained uh, this m2 is obtained as 0 0.40 0 0.84 so using this m value this new m value as the initial value for the z that is the dot of x naught is equal to m2 is equal to 0 0.84 the corresponding solution is obtained as 9.0 exact 9.0 means this obtained value this obtained m value the newer m value is the exact uh, initial value so that we can use this initial value for solving any points for solving or for finding the value of y at any point at any x point so now you can do an assignment we are given this second order differential equation with these boundary conditions so solve this equation for r is equal to zero so initially you have to find the uh, boundary the initial value corresponds to this z of x naught where z is equal to du by dr then you have to solve using euler or runge kutta method for r is equal to 10. thank you